Boss? Boss? Yeah, hi. I want to talk to you about check system inquiry removal hacks that don't cost a penny. And I also want to share with you four dispute letters that work instantly. You're going to love today's conversation, I guarantee you. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about check systems inquiry removal hacks that don't cost a penny. Okay? And I also share with you, as a bonus, four dispute letters that work instantly. First thing first, let's talk about the facts. So if you have been denied a check in or savings account at a bank or credit union, it's likely due to a negative listing on check system, okay? So when you think about check system, it's basically a consumer reporting agency that consists of a network of financial institutions that keep track of individuals who have imperfect banking records. In other words, it's a coalition of banks who got and credit unions who got together and say, you know what? We are going to monitor what kind of applicants we actually uh, take in, okay? So... Once you are on, uh, so if you items such as excessive overdrafts, insufficient funds, or bank account closed with money still owed are compiled in your check system record and reported to member institutions, and all banks in the United States are part of the check system, okay? So when you apply for a new bank account, the financial institution requests your history from check systems, and banks and credit unions may deny your application based on any negative information it finds. Okay, now once reported, those negative items may remain on your check system for on, on your report for up to five years. Okay, so this when you really think about it, with, during those five years, this can be very difficult for you to open an account with most financial institutions. Okay. But there are ways to get out of check systems, okay? So you can dispute errors on your check system um, reports. I'm going to show you, okay? And uh, the thing here is that you have to provide what they call acceptable proof, okay? So check system can provide several forms of, accept of uh, acceptable proof, including a copy of the canceled check or a copy of the original banking contract you signed when you opened the bank account. And if check system cannot provide that proof, the relevant information must be must be removed from your report. This is really important, and this is a federal law. Okay, if they cannot prove that you actually uh, they actually are, let's say, if they if cannot prove that uh, you had some derogatory part of your contract with the bank, they have to remove your info from their report. Okay, still the check system dispute process can be complicated, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Whew, yeah, it it can be very complicated. Now, one thing you need to understand is that you need to be patient, you need to be persistent. So let's talk about the steps, okay? I'm giving you the, the inquiry removal hacks here. First, you wanna, re, you wanna request your reports, okay, boss? I don't care, I don't care if you're busy or where you are, whatever. The whole thing starts when you request your report. That's when the that's when the the process kicks off. Okay, so you get your check system report to determine why a bank did not approve your application because you you gotta have access to the information. Think about it. You're just walking around and uh, you're just applying for uh, for a new bank account and they just deny your ass. You have no idea why they why they are denying you. So it's important to actually request your report so you have a, a better idea of what's in there, right? So the report shows what. It will show you uh, things like it will show you a breakdown of specific accounts closed, outstanding debt that you have, bounce checks, and more. Okay, so you are eligible for a free copy of your report once every twelve months. So once a year, you can request your your check system report, and they'll give it to you. So you are legally entitled to that. If they don't do it, you can sue them. Okay, you are also entitled to a free credit report anytime a bank or credit union has denied you banking services in the past 60 days due to information and check system and check systems okay so you have two things here 
free credit reports and also a free check systems report. Okay, so you can request your your record in one of in one of three ways actually. Okay, first thing is I mean it's it's one of two ways really. First thing is you can call check system. Okay, the only thing is I, I'm I'm gonna give you the number though. It's one eight hundred four two eight nine six two three. The only problem is this is an, this is an automated voice messaging system. Nobody picks up that phone, so. You just got a call. They will. They have a. They have a series of prompts. Just follow the prompts. Enter your info, and you'll be t- taken care of. But you will not speak to a live person. Okay. So you can, you can call Check Systems. The number again is one eight hundred four two eight ninety six twenty three. Okay. You can actually. The, the second part is the second thing is you can visit the website. Okay. You can go to the request report section and you fill out the consumer disclosure form. Okay, you submit it online or print it out and mail it to Check System. So Check Systems actually, so there are three ways, right? You call, you do things online, or you mail the form to Check Systems. Their their address is uh, Attention Consumer Relations, seventy eight zero five Hudson Road, Suite Suite one hundred, Woodbury, Minnesota, five five one two five. Okay something you need to think about okay so uh, we're gonna put the we're gonna put the address on on the screen for you to see so after you requested your report you got a dispute errors right this is the second part this is really important so again if you find so once you get the report be very careful here I want you I want you to really focus and you want to really really get granular here get granular get detail here okay if you find information that you believe is wrong you want to gather supporting documentation such as payment records or bank statements this is this is why we always stay on this show never delete your bank statements actually you can you can archive them they're available online okay but you can download them and save it on your usb uh, usb key drive right so the thing is that once you have you gather supporting documents you got to go to the to uh, the dispute information section of the check systems uh, website and choose how you will submit your dispute okay you you have three ways of, of uh, submitting a dispute online so at that link on that website you click on that web page where it says submit your dispute now so you'll be taken to a form to fill out and an area where you can upload files that support your claim once you are ready just hit submit at the bottom of that page it's very simple it's very straightforward the second way is you can do it via mail or fax. Okay, so you can actually see, uh, you, you know, you will see a link that says "Request for Investigation Form," and the, the you need to print out that form. Then you fill in the necessary information and include copies of any supporting documents. Right, not originals though, because things get lost here. N- supporting documents, copies. Okay, you send this file to the address that we just showed you. We're gonna show this on, again on the screen. So this is a, you know, check system, consumer relations, 7805 Hudson Road, suite, suite 100, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And uh, or you can fax those copies to 602-659-2197. Okay. And the third way of doing this is you can do it by phone. So if you have already received a copy of your check system re- report, you can speak to a, re- a representative at um, 1-800-513-7125. So this is... Is a is a system where you get a live person, whereas in the first in the first part you get a you get an, an automated voice machine system. Here you have a live person that you where that you can only talk to them once you have received a copy of your check system report. Okay, very important. So and you talk to the person, you explain your situation, and the, you tell them the errors that you have on your your report. Very important. Remember that you must submit your dispute online or by mail. You can talk to the, the the to the rep, but you need to submit your uh, your record, your whatever uh, proof you have yet to submit it via online or by mail. The third boss, are you still with me? The third thing you gotta do, if you really, I, I'm just I'm just spilling all the beans today for you to actually get out of check system for good. The thing here is that you need to follow up on your claim. Because you're just thinking that, you know, check system, they have a lot of people. They, I mean, they have a lot of folks who are complaining. 
So you, you're not the only one, okay? So if you hear back from check system within the 30 day time frame, and if they give you, let's say, you know, sometimes sometimes they will give you a generic confirmation of the of the negative item, you'll need to request verification from the original bank as well as check systems. Okay. So in other words, you need to follow up. That's you you need to stay on their asses. That's just what it is. Okay, because remember, you're the one actually being penalized here, okay? It ain't check systems, it ain't it, it ain't the bank right so you need to send dispute letters to them i'll show you a little one the dispute letters that you need to you need to send but the thing here is that you need to uh, send a letter that reference your rights as a consumer under the fcra and the fair debt collection practices act okay remember you must send these letters via certified mail with a return receipt re requested and you you should also save copies for your own file because you know the whole thing is if you were to go to court later on you need to have proof you need to substantiate whatever you're talking about so step number three you need to follow up on your on your claim step number four you need to handle no response from check systems what if they just ghost you what if you don't hear back from them what do you do well i'm going to show you i'm going I'm to show you very soon also a dispute letter you can send if you don't hear from them within the 30-day time frame remember they have 30 days to get back to you that's the law okay because the burden of proof is on them so if after you send them the the no the burden of proof is on you but once you send them the 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 proof that you have they have to respond and if they're not responsive or something reads you know you 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 send a letter to them this will letter okay if either check systems or the bank can verify the information on your check system report then it's okay they're, they're not going to remove anything however if they cannot do this within 30 days, if they don't respond, they have a legal obligation to remove whatever derogatory item you have from your banking history. In other words, they need to restore your uh, your your banking history to something new. They need to kick you out of the, the check system reports, okay? One thing I want to say here is, and, and listen, I will show you the, the dispute letters later on, but I want, I'm just giving you some steps here that you need to follow so that you can actually uh, reestablish your banking uh, your banking relationship or your banking history. Pay off the debts, okay? If your report is accurate and you owe the money, pay it, okay? Just pay it. The whole Sometimes it's just a lot easier just to pay it. If your budget is tight, let's say, you know, cash is tight, okay? Ask your creditors if they will be willing to settle for less than the debt amount. Okay, that's what it is. Because the whole thing here is that if you have uh, racked up non-sufficient funds fees in your checking account, and uh, those those fees ended up uh, getting the account closed, try to negotiate. It's always you know, it, there's nothing bad with that. Stuff happens. You know, people go through stuff, but you have to take the first step to pay off your debts. Okay, you can also ask creditors to remove information. So once you have paid your debts, you can ask the collection agency or other creditor to update your file on check system, check systems. Okay, get payoff information in writing and keep track of receipts or other documents that show you have paid the debt. Yeah, that's what it is. Because again, as I said, sometimes this thing goes to litigation, that goes to court. You better have some proof. That's why I'm telling you that you need to get payoff information in writing. And you need to keep track of receipts or other documents that you that show that you have paid the debts and you want to send this to check systems and also to, to the original bank okay and you just have to wait until the record uh, drops off the uh, the database because if all else fails wait until the blemishes fall off your record i mean it takes five years yeah you know you just have to wait five years until then you might be able to open a second chance checking account and we have actually covered this on, on another show there's something called check second chance checking accounts so these accounts are designed to to help people with uh, bad credit or banking histories okay and although they generally have monthly fees you cannot avoid they can help you rebuild rebuild your financial history and make you eligible for a standard bank account usually within a year so that's just what it is, okay? And uh, and if you would if you would rather not deal with the bank account right now, you could also choose to have a prepaid debit card. Okay? This spending card has some banking features 
such as direct deposit and multiple loading methods, including cash loads and check deposit. So those could be actually uh, great for you also. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you're to ask me. And here is a, so we are still talking about check systems, inquiry, removal hacks. Now, I want to talk to you about the, the dispute letters, okay? And there are a lot of dispute letters that you can actually use. And listen, if you want to draft, if you want a, a Word, a Microsoft Word copy of uh, that dispute letters, just uh, you want to drop us a comment below and we just send them to you via email not a problem we have them we have them we can share them with you okay so i want you to look right now on the screen so you have dispute letter number one you have uh, the request for verification so this is the le the first letter you will send to check systems to initiate your dispute okay so once you have uh asked for your report and you have verified if there is a if you believe there are problems in your report then you need to actually initiate your dispute so i want you to see on the screen right now here is how the letter looks like okay here is what you need to send this is the first letter so you send it to them and you are initiating your dispute you're telling them hey listen i want to see the verifiable proof you have on file of the account listed below the account that they, they are referring to so you are putting the burden of proof on them Okay, and that's really important because they are the one listing listing you as a derogatory quote unquote derogatory derogatory uh, account holder, right? So right now, I want you to look on the screen right now again. Here is a request. Here is the uh, request for verification letter, the second one. So you want to use this letter if your initial dispute results in a generic verification of the negative item, and Check Systems is not able to provide copies. Of the documents with your signature okay so because check systems have to they have to provide copies of the documents i'm talking about the banking contract the original banking contract with your signature it must have your signature because if they if they don't have your signature not, nothing proved that they ever told you about this uh, contract in the first place or ever if this contract ever existed Okay, so they need to provide that. So I want you to look. I want you to look properly on this letter here. Again, all the letters that I'm telling you here. If you are interested, just drop us a comment, and we'll email this to you. Okay. So you see here. Please be advised. This is my second written request. The unverified item listed below remains on my check system report in violation of federal law. Remember, this is federal law. Again, boss, are you there? Okay, I want you to look on the screen right now. We have the third letter. So this is request for verification. Step three. Okay, so if you are now, let's say you are now 90 to 100 days into your dispute, right? Nobody's getting back to you. They are ghosting you. They're playing games with you. Okay, you're, you're calling them. You're asking them. They're giving you half answers. They're giving you half truths, and you're just pissed. Stay strong. Okay, do not get pissed. You have to actually, uh, you have to actually, uh, stay the course here okay and you have to keep sending those dispute letters it is a marathon really it's not a spring okay but the thing is here is that you need it it's you who are being penalized okay so i want you to look on the screen right now you want to send this letter the third letter okay you can customize it as you want but again we have the the word copy if you're interested just drop us the a comment we will email it to you and here is what you you say in your third letter okay but you have to wait though this is like if you are into 90 or 6 or 120 days into your dispute okay and they just stalling you okay they have a i mean check system has <laughs> they do have like it's crazy though they have a very strong stalling tactics okay they will actually uh, discourage you or whatever but again as i said you are the one who is being penalized so it is in your interest to take action okay and here is the fourth letter i want you, i still want you to look on the screen right now so this letter you send this letter to uh, check systems or the bank if you do not receive a response to your request for a verification letter within 30 days 
Now in Maine, it's 21 days, okay? Remember that if Check Systems ever does not respond to you within 30 days of, rece of receiving your dispute letter, Check Systems is legally obligated to remove the negative record from your report. And that's where the that's where the sweet spot is at, okay? They they have to, and this is federal law. If if they don't, you can sue their ass and get big money, okay? And uh, so you send this letter to Check Systems or the bank if you do not receive a response to your request for validation letter within thirty days, okay? This is very important. So one thing I want to say here again: you have to see here, you have to see on the screen the information contained here. It is federal law they have to do it because uh, you actually have uh, you have uh, rights under the FCRA okay and uh, this those rights you might want to read them if you want to take legal action later on if you want to bring them to court you can actually sue them under this law so here you have it thank you so much for your attention in today's conversation I was actually talking to you about the uh, Check systems, inquiry removal hacks that don't cost a penny. And I share with you four dispute letters that work instantly. So I, I went through you, I went with you through the facts. I give you the steps, okay? Request, you have to request your report, dispute errors, follow up on your claim, handle no response from check systems, pay off your debts, ask creditors to remove information, wait until the record drops off the database, or, and I share with you the four dispute letters that don't cost you anything. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.